Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again today, uh, back in MX-15. Someone asked the other day in the forums, what do you do after a fresh install? Well, that's a fair question. Lots of folks have done things to do after installing Ubuntu or whatever videos on YouTube, so I thought I'd give a crack at uh, MX-15. So, first thing I do after an install is to go ahead and do an update. Um, is to up is to update uh, uh, the apps now apt uh, apt notifier here will eventually check and automatically display the apps if you want to wait that's fine if you don't want to wait uh, you can open up the terminal and do an apt actually it's going to be sudo apt get update and that'll update the sources, the online source. Well, if I could spell right, that would work a lot better. There we go. That'll update the sources. And eventually, the little package icon down here will show up with uh, updates if there are any to do. Once that happens and the icon shows up, uh, it'll show you have updates ready and you can install the updates by right clicking and clicking install updates view and upgrade and it'll show you everything that's coming down there's all sorts of things get updated over time uh... it doesn't look like a particularly large download so actually it is it's, this is going to be a big download i wonder why that is what am i getting that's a large download ah firefox is updating firefox is usually big so i'm going to go ahead and click ok and come back Okay, so now we see the updates done. It uh, says I can press any key to close. All of our packages are up to date. Now, one of the nice things uh, about running the package, running the update right away, is that little bug fixes, little bugs that might have got, came crept through uh, the final development phase are usually fixed very quickly. Um, in, in case in point, in our next step, uh, we're going to install our favorite apps, whatever apps you might like. There's a bunch of ways to do this. You can use Synaptic Package Manager to hunt up uh, the different applications you might want. In case you're new to Linux, packages are just another name for archives or apps that you might want to download. Uh, for instance, if you would want uh, to install Oh, I don't know what would be something to install. Um, uh, GTK Screen Recorder, uh, or Record My Desktop, rather. You could uh, search for that by quick typing there, or you could click up here in the search button and say Record My Desktop. Now, the one thing about Synaptic is that it's not the easiest thing to browse for. There we go. So there's the two two apps. But everything included in the Debian, MX, and Annex repositories will show up in Synaptic. You can also do your upgrades from here. You can reload all your sources from the Synaptic interface. You can mark all upgrades and apply. It's exactly the same as running the upgrade from App Notifier down here in the corner. Um, so that is one way to uh, install applications. Another way particular to MX is the MX package installer. And the MX package installer is not meant to be all-inclusive. It's not every app available in the MX Antics or Debian repositories, but it's some favorites, we'll call them. So you'll have, you've got your various uh, audio players. Maybe if you've got something in particular that you want to install. We try to go for very common applications. So if we look in browser, we say we've got Chrome, Chromium, Ice Weasel, I mean Pale Moon's in here. You can check Chrome and you can install it. If you got other stuff, you got some docs in here if you want to install a doc. If you want some Git tools or some Debian packaging tools, if you know what all that stuff is, you know, get whatever you want. The nice thing about in, about Synaptic and MX Package Installer is you can select multiple apps and install them all at once. Now this is why I recommended running the update beforehand because there was a bug in MX Package Installer that depending on certain applications that you chose you could get things might wouldn't install, install would fail. That's been fixed so update first before you run 
uh, before you do it. So you can select multiple selections. I typically go through and select, you know, Google Chrome, VirtualBox, Simple Screen Recorder, uh, you know, all the stuff that I use on a routine basis uh, to, uh, you know, on my regular production system. So there you go. That's installing your apps. Well, what about? Well, you got a computer with a DVD player. Do you want to you want to play commercial DVDs? You can do that, but not out of the box. You're missing a library. So open up the MX Tools and install some codecs. And install. Let's see, Codex Downloader. This is going to install uh, codecs for advanced video and audio functions. In reality, this is going to install. Uh, a couple of Windows media formats. This is going to install support for a couple of real audio formats. And also, it's going to install uh, libdvd CSS, which is necessary for commercial DVD playback, even in VLC. It's going to do its thing. It's going to automatically download the right ones if you're on 64 or 32 bit. Totally hands off, totally without fuss. You don't have to worry about repositories and all that junk. You can just click a button and say yes bring me this stuff so while that's going on and then after that's done installing you'll be able to play your DVDs as well as your real audio file see it's real quick it's done already alright other than that what else can you, can you do well you can customize your system and there's tons of ways to customize XFCE I'll show you a couple off the cuff here you got the appearance app with all sorts of different themes that you can choose from and there's a ton in here, some honestly, some better than others. Um, uh, just, you know, keep in mind the gray bird and blue bird thick and thin are the, are the MEPIS, or rather the EMX defaults because the grips down here in the corner are bigger for, for resizing windows. You'd be surprised how irritating gray bird gets after a while with very small handles in the bottom. You can customize your icon set. You can choose a different icon theme. You can customize your fonts. Uh, and you can enable event sounds. If you enable event sounds, you'll get these little beeps and blurbs. You probably couldn't hear it, but there was a bleep there when I opened Thunar. Um, there, you can enable a custom sound. Now, XFC has very rudimentary sound theme support. You can't really pick a, th a theme, a sound for any one action. you got to have a theme to cover it. Um, however, I do have a theme here someplace. Let me see here. I'll show you something real quick. Um, <laughs> Native American flute. There we go. This was done by an MX community member named Eno, E-I-N-O. I'm not sure how to say your name. I know, maybe? I don't know. But if you right-click on this in Thunar, you'll see Make Startup Sound or Make Logout Sound. It's going to take that file and that'll be your startup, your login sound is a custom entry. You can um, uh, you can do that, and then when it logins and logs out, there's one already built in by default. If you don't have to pick a startup sound, but it's going to play one um, anyway. Uh, if you enable event sounds, uh, so you can pick a pick a pick a file there to be your to be a custom entry, for instance. Uh, let's see. We can also, obviously, you can change backgrounds. How you change the background? That's pretty easy in 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 XFCE. You just click on Desktop Settings, right click. You can. That's also available through the menu Settings and Desktop. And you got the different wallpapers you can pick. You can do different things with wallpapers. If you want to go to a different folder, you can pick your own folder. No problem. I have a folder full of my own full of my own wallpapers but uh, so that's something that you can do um, you can have different icons show up on your home on your desktop this is where you do that on the icons tab and one of the things people don't realize how easy this to do is you can add things to the panel to the to this guy over here now this is Firefox web browser and this is Thunar web manager and let's say I want to add something else to that. Maybe I want to add the terminal. I can actually just drag it right over. It'll say create launcher. Sure, go ahead. There we go. Now I got my terminal app. Okay. You can also use an app called App Finder, which is a little known gem of XFCE. This gives you a list of all the installed applications, whether they're hidden from your menu or not. 
So you can uh, do the same things here. You can add uh, to a to a bookmark system. You can edit the links here. How it's a launcher, and you can drag uh, from App Finder as well. Not just the menu. Very handy item, and actually, the line up here doubles as a run line which is very handy for certain things. I'm going to say run, uh, I don't know, what can I run here? Let's run, uh, well, let's run Mirage. And it's going to find Mirage. And there we go. Okay, so App Finder, handy way to find all your apps. And for those of you guys that don't like the panel where it's located, you can use MX Panel Orientation to display the panel horizontally. Now, I'll caution you. If you display the panel horizontally, you're going to get a new panel. So these uh, these changes that I just made are not going to show up on my panel. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. And there they are. And now I can customize this panel to my heart's content. But if I want, let's say I decided I want the other panel back. Whoops, that's the wrong panel custom app. Uh, MX panel uh, orientation. Do, 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 do. And I can say, give me the backed up configuration. It, it'll back up whatever the last configuration was. So as I'm back up, I'm going to hit apply, and it's going to give me my panel back with my customizations. Uh, you know, it's however you want it. Make 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 MX look the way you want. Honestly, the vertical panel, I've kind of grown to like it. On a widescreen laptop that's only 720p, there's more space to waste horizontally than there is vertically. So I kind of I've kind of come to gr to go to accustom to the uh, panel on the side. For whatever reason, it bothers me not to have my clock visible. So auto hiding is not really a solution for me. Uh, that's a personal thing. So we've installed your favorite apps. You've customized your panel. Check out my uh, video on customizing the XFCE terminal if you want to have some fun things about to make your terminal look cool with a custom prompt and transparency effects and all that. It's a separate video. I'll to try to put a link here for it. And uh, just play around with it. Now one other thing you might want to do is you might want to join the forum. And the forum's at forum.mepiscommunity.org and you can actually, the homepage for, by default in MX is um, is the MX community page, excuse me, and you can come in a support and forum and go to the forum and feel free to join the forum. Click on the register link, join the forum. The devs are close to the metal on this one. You're not a thousand miles removed like you can, can be in Ubuntu or some of the big boys. So even if you got something that's um, you might consider silly, they're not going to chase you off and they'll probably listen to you. And even if they don't include it in a distribution, uh, you know, they're not going to rent rake you over the coals for it. Uh, 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 most of the changes, especially the apps and say like MX Package Installer, uh, or in this case the panel orientation app, came about because users wanted them. So you know, join the forum, let your voice be heard. And last but not least, if you like what you see and you want to keep using it for a while, kick them a few bucks to keep their servers running. Uh, there's a PayPal link here on the donation page. Kick them, a, kick them a couple of bucks and help keep the servers alive, the repos alive. They're adding mirrors all across the world all the time. Um, in fact, I believe there's even a new app. If you do the, uh, if you do the update today, there's a new app for uh, reset for uh, mirrors now were the repos that Synaptic and MX Package Installer and Apt, for that matter, use. Uh, we have them located across the world now, including two U.S. mirrors, although, honestly, they're kind of close together. Um, um, you know, so check that out. It's MX Repo Manager. It's going to be showing up in MX Tools. But, uh, you know, all that costs money. Some of the mirrors are donated, but some of them cost money. And, you know... Help out your favorite distro. And if your favorite distro is not MX, help your favorite distro out too. I'm sure no one's going to turn down money because they got lights to keep on too. Anyway, that's it for me. Sorry, no face on the screen this time. I just am recovering from knee surgery 
and um, well, I look like heck. For tips, tricks, how tos, head for tips, tricks, how tos, head over to mepiscommunity.org or throw up a post at forums.mepiscommunity.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great day.